Looks like more bad behavior from the RVers is uh, causing even more parking woes. Glow, that's right, the lovely, glorious Life on Wheels. Now, she has been going to a gym for a few years now, and uh, she drives in there in her RV. Well, she went in the other day, and there are no parking signs for RVs. And she said that, uh, yeah, she saw this guy in there with his RV, and once she saw him, she knew there was going to be trouble. Someone started parking there, and I knew when I saw him that it was going to be spoiled for everyone. He parked his rig there, mm -hmm. and he took up two spaces, and he started putting out a lawn chair, not a, <laughs> a full-length one, but just, you know, a regular um, short lawn chair, and then he put up a table, then he was working <laughs> there, you know. He was moving I in. Thought, what an idiot. <laughs> He's going to spoil it for everyone. And he did. He did indeed. He spoiled it for everyone because, as I just said, yep, she told the story that, uh, yeah, there is no parking signs. Uh, she did go in and speak to the people at the gym and said, hey, you know, I come here and I, you know, should I not park? And you go over to her channel. You go check her out and, uh, Watch the video and see what she says about it. It's a interesting story. And just one more that, again, if this was a local, I don't think a local would go out and rent an RV to park in a gym to set up his little living space. I really don't. I know everybody says it's not the RVers, it's all the locals, but I, I'm willing to bet that this one, yeah, it's not the locals. It's a damn RVer. And that's not all. There's another one. This one is in uh, <laughs> Tennessee. Tennessee. Check this one out. It's in Gatlinburg. A lovely uh, RVer. They <laughs> they decided, hey, signs aren't for me. They're for everybody else. I'm going to do it anyway. So they pulled in and parked. So why would you think this was okay? Uh, there's a... <laughs> do not block driveway sign right there. I mean, it says right here, clearly, no RVs, no <laughs> large trucks, no RVs, no large trucks, oh, and you can't block. I mean, you're doing both, man. Yeah. You're blocking the... I, I need to change off that. Dude, you need to calm down. I understand <laughs> you're in a hurry, but if you're in that big of a hurry, you should have found a better parking spot. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah. Yeah, I read the signs, but I parked here anyway. Yeah, it says right there. <laughs> now, I guess you can just drive through, but when you come out i don't know but <laughs> you go into this parking lot there's signs everywhere it just don't do it just don't do it so uh of course the people called the uh the people that owned the place <laughs> they called the, the tow truck dude and he showed up and he put a chain on the rv through the wheels and everything because when they leave the uh, the arm when you go out the arm doesn't go up high enough to leave RVs, large trucks, and so on. That's why they're not supposed to park in there. Not to mention it's a small parking lot and it just doesn't accommodate that. But um, so he didn't want them to go out and destroy their RV and the arm and everything else and really screw it up so nobody could, you know, because it would tie up everything. So he put a chain <laughs> through it and <laughs> yeah, they came out. They were not happy, to say the least. But hey, remember, RVers are peaceful people. They're calm. They're the salt of the earth. They're just living the free, cheap, and easy life, just trying to go about their day. Man, that's a I don't, I'm don't. i not here to... I understand, and I understand I made a mistake. No, just I just need it off my car. I got three kids. But you got to understand, this takes a minute. I got a guy coming <laughs> to get the gate. This can't all happen within a split second, brother. <laughs> I understand you're in a hurry, but if you're in that big of a hurry, you should have found a better parking spot. Well, it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> and then when the guy 
<laughs> a guy came to uh, do something to that arm so they could get out. And he went over, the tow truck driver went over to unlock the the rig. <laughs> and the guy was <laughs> apparently went over and pried and beat and did everything to this lock to try to get the chain off so he didn't have to pay to get it out of there. And so the guy had to go over and cut his chain off with bolt cutters because the guy fucked the lock up so bad he couldn't unlock it with the key. And then after all this, oh, we got to go, we got to go, we're in a hurry. <laughs> After he took the chain off, they waited and waited and waited. And the guy dicked around and walked around. And they 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 fiddle fucked around for a long time. But they were in such a hurry and they had this guy all fired up. But yeah, very funny stuff. I'll leave a link <laughs> to the video below. You can go check it out. But yeah, I mean it's like, dude, you know? And then they they kind of pulled out towards the thing and then they stopped and then he got out and um he was like, You gotta go. He said, you got like, <laughs> you got 60 seconds and I'm calling the cops. You've been here tying up everything. You got to go. Well, their slide wouldn't go in the whole way. It was out a little bit. So <laughs> why their slide was out? I don't know. Maybe they had their stuff set up in the parking lot too, but yeah, their slide wouldn't go in. So he was like, Hey, you're not fixing that here. Drive that shit somewhere else and fix it. You drove this far, drive out of this parking lot, park somewhere else. But yeah. So there you go. Parking woes, parking woes, parking woes. And is it anybody else's fault, but the RVers? No, it's not. It's not. It's not the locals. It's not the truck drivers. It's not. No, it's the RVers. And there you go. And it doesn't take many. It doesn't take many to screw it up. Yeah, I know. It's just like, I tell you, it's just like everything else. Every other community, there's bad apples and it doesn't take too many to ruin everything because that's what everybody focuses on. The bad people. Everybody that reads the sign goes, oh, no, I'm not going to park here. Nobody pays any attention to them. <laughs> the people that do go in and park and say, oh, we got to be out of here by, you know, 8 o'clock tonight, or we got to be out by whatever, 7 o'clock tomorrow, whatever it is, or one night over. The people that go in and do that and then obey the rules and leave, nobody pays attention to them. But when three, four, five, six people go in and go, no RVs, well, that obviously doesn't mean me, or no overnight parking or no camping or you can park here, but you're not going to live here, but we're going to put up the slides, put our jack stands down, screw up the blacktop. And we're going to set up our grill and our chairs and everything. And we're just going to move in and they ruin it for everyone. But no, 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 that can't be. It's not the RVers. They are awesome people. It's those damn locals that are ruining it for everybody. No, it's not. It's the RVers. It definitely is the RVers. But hey, you don't have to agree with me. That's never the point here. The point is... Uh, I'm Blind Views, and that's the way I see it. I'm Blind Views, that's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.